Hello and welcome to The Advocate on PLUS TV Africa. Your reminder that important conversations are among the necessary tools for a saner society. I will be talking about the reactions trailing the unveiling of the redesigned Naira notes. Olua Shegu Elegbede will be talking about the absence of Nigeria from Qatar 2022, a wake-up call to be more intentional about our football administration. Elijah Felix will be talking about political toggery, a threat to democracy. Today, expect interesting and educational discussions. We'll be right back after the break. Reactions trailing the unveiling of the redesigned Naira notes. The central bank governor, Godwin Emefiele, issued a statement on the new policy to introduce redesigned Naira notes. He stated this new development is due to a continuous rise in the inability of banks to control the circulation of the Naira and heightened cases in the production of counterfeit currencies. Other reasons behind this new policy is the increase in the shortage of banknotes and massive hoarding of Naira by members of the public. As elections are around the corner, there has been speculations that this could be politically motivated. However, the Central Bank of Nigeria has stated that the redesigned is viewed for economic development and applies to only the 200 Naira, 500 Naira and 1000 Naira notes. The economic implication of the new Naira notes is speculated to weaken monetary policies. Hopefully, if control is regained, it will curb the inflation rate and increase money in circulation. In the last two days, the foreign exchange market has reacted negatively to the unveiling of the redesigned Naira notes. Mixed reactions from Nigerians express a disappointment at the unveiling, positing that the bank notes were not redesigned, rather a pure change of color. Considering Nigerians have a strong appetite for consumer items from the US and the United Kingdom, which has resulted in every reliance on the importation of everything, including food, food and commodity prices will likely be affected, causing inflation. Nigerians are hopeful that the redesigned notes will impact positively, increase growth, and most importantly, reduce inflation. Elijah, what do you think about the new, the new notes? Well, firstly, let me address the concern of Nigerians. Okay. There have been a lot of um, social media banter about these exactly. people making jests about that the central bank governor just applies bleach exactly. in the local palace. Exactly. But let me tell you something. The money, money physical money, I mean money, I mean physical fiat currency is what it's, it's what the CBN governor says it is. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing wrong in the CBN governor introducing that. They were expecting the complete overhaul in design exactly uh, yes. but it's okay number one it's cheaper to change the color like you said mm -hmm. than to actually redesign it because mm -hmm. i want to believe that central bank of nigeria has a template to mm -hmm. produce each currency mm -hmm. so if they are redesigning it per se the whole uh, appearance and and maybe the length of the the money or the texture mm -hmm. it's going to cost them more money because it means they have to change the templates exactly but no. changing the color Mm. It's to me they've solved the problem of they are trying to mop up um, money from the um, um, from the they want to mop up money that's uh, hidden. Some people are abusing this money. You see some people starting huge funds, mm. money that's supposed to be be in circulation or used for something. Someone will keep it in his in his mm. backyard. Yes, use exactly. money laundering, especially some people in, that have access to funds from public funds. You exactly. see what happens. So if they change only one dots on the currency and they say this is your new currency it has been changed exactly. they have the financing mm -hmm. so what matters more is that nigerians should learn how to do cashless they're, they're trying to encourage cashless policies okay. uh, you know cashless transaction you, mm -hmm. they want to reduce the amount of 1500 naira notes in circulation okay. so that there will be more security it's mm -hmm. easy for them to track spending mm -hmm. and and control um uh, it's going to be difficult for people to loan that money especially those in government no mm -hmm. issue of for instance now if you go to countries like america us mm -hmm. you can carry a certain number of dollar or pounds yes in your pockets mm -hmm. you have your mastercard mm -hmm. you have other form of payments qr code they have different ones there are some other electronic form of transactions e to each transaction so mm -hmm. keeping money in circulation so i think it's a good idea yes. the reason why they think it's politically motivated is because you know, some people consider the CBN governor of being politically interested. Mm -hmm. Let me use that language. 
if you want to be a CBN governor, you are not supposed to be a politically exposed person. But you know what happened the, the last time during the intention uh, as um, post pre primary year. Yes. So a CBN governor being put out in public like that, oh, mm. should run for president. It's actually against the ethics of the profession. Yes. So yes. that is why some people are of the opinion that oh, are you sure there is no political undertone? But mm. listening to the CBN governor himself, I think the intention and the motive are okay. That's on mm. one hand. To drive, uh, reduce inflation and also to um, make the price of dollar fall with regard to Naira, it's mm. not something that will happen overnight. Yes. It has to do more with production. We yeah. import more than we export. Do we really mm. export? If we export more, I think, as well as we import necessary things we don't have, you import what you cannot mm. produce and you, exp you export what you can produce and produce your food. I guess the macroeconomic fundamentals will allow the economy to be stable and will have a fair exchange rate. So designing the Naira alone will not solve the problem, but it's a mm. good way of curbing um, abuse of abuse. the... And also and hoarding. And hoarding too, yes. and make money easily in circulation, circulation. fluid and all those things. So kudos to them. Yes, I think that you know, there was so much... Uh, Nigerians had expectations. You know, we had expectations that, okay, they, they want to redesign. That's the word. To change the whole Yes. Way. As a lawyer, you know, you, you take note of words. If you're telling me, okay, we just want to do something else. But you, you said redesign. So people had expectations that, okay, it's going to be a different person on the notes. You know, in fact, people made a lot of, on Twitter, there were lots, lots of... Um, lovely designs young people came <laughs> up honestly nigerians are creative it, it, you know, it, it, the designs, the young people designed naira notes and a lot of graphic artists on twitter designed beautiful i would commend them well, nigerians are I, talented. I think the reason why the government did that is i just told you that they said they have a number of specific number of um naira notes bill that were supposed to be produced that was pre the intention okay. to redesign the notes in quotes but because um, when they heard that oh, the government wants to redesign the notes, let's say we want to change the, some features like color and the rest, they had to use the same templates and went back to the same people that minted it and said, meant the remaining number of notes, but change this feature like the color. But we're still spending money. No, it's cheaper. It's cheaper that way. But we have money in Nigeria. No, it's cheaper that way to, to <laughs> do what they did than actually redesigning it. I don't think a, a, an economy should be talking about cheaper because we have money in Nigeria. There's money in Nigeria. If they want to redesign, they can actually redesign. I think people. The Syrian government said it was cheaper that way, and I saw the reasons because, okay. I, like I said, it's one template. Let me give you an, a scenario. It's mm -hmm. just like if you are in a printing press, they mm -hmm. ask you to print a certain number of newspaper. Okay. It has a color. It has a design. Uh, it's a written design on it. Mm -hmm. Now, if they say, okay, print that same newspaper, but change this, change that, you are not going to change the 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 length template you're only going to change maybe one or two texts the color it's cheaper than going to reduce the length or increase the length and then looking for another template that is what the government was trying to say okay I, so they I, didn't really okay. spend more than they should spend that's what does the argument and they did okay. it for security reasons at least okay. you have more money going to the bank and they can easily control and monitor spending and activities, fraudulent activities or other business activities to track spending and other things. And then our Zoom guests, what, uh, Sheikh, what do you have to say about this? Yeah, um, I've been listening to the two of you, uh, your contributions. They are in order. Um, I think, of course, explanations have to be managed. When the CBN governor came out to say the Naira notes, the 200, uh, 500 and the 1,000 Naira notes were going to be redesigned I think Nigerians began to envision the kind of notes they were expecting. Yeah. And so having to see that only colors mm -hmm. were actually changed exactly. in those narrow notes. That's, that's what uh, resulted into the reactions that we have had in the last couple of, um, uh, yes. I mean, in the, in the last hours that the notes were sent into the circulation. What I what should be more important and that should also be our uh, area of concentration should be the reasons why the CBN has gone out to do this. And they said the major reason is that it, more than eighty percent of the nodes were were not in the um, are not in the banks and they are out there in circulation and with the pronouncement you've seen all around that people are trying to move 
I mean, money from here and there to ensure that they send them back into the banking system. I think that is one thing that we should commend the CBN for. Uh, if our notes are not in the banking system, it means also that uh, many of the ransom that has been paid uh, via the cash oh. medium, it, 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 that's, they are not paid back into the system. It gives the, the criminals the leeway to operate because they know, you know there are so much cash in the circulation and people also use this same uh, cash to to acquire um, arms and ammunitions. You know, it is it's a, it's something that we should really commend beyond the colors that has been changed. What is really important here is that uh, now we are going to have a situation where the notes will be back into the into the bank vaults now. This is very instructive. Before now, I, I'm not sure we have had any redesign of the Naira since the introduction of the cashless policy. And we all know that nowadays, you, it, it, there's a threshold of amount of um, money that you can draw out of your account from the bank, individual and corporate accounts. So I think if everyone play by the rules, it will be very difficult for an individual or corporate entity to take so much out of the bank accounts and keep somewhere. And more importantly, that the elections are here. We also know that vote buying is a major factor, a determining factor in our elections. If there are no cash to, to send, I mean, people don't, if you want to pay bribe, even at the police station where they, they take bribe, they it's will ask you not to use their account. They want cash. And if it is difficult for people to access cash, of course you have you have your your money, your account. Let me do transfer to you. So it's 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 going to go up some excesses in some ways. So I think the CBN should be commended. Uh, uh, we are not uh, the 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 gain is not that we want to see the best of designs. It is the, the it is still a legal tender. We I mean it is still our currency. We will spend it. We will ex use it to exchange for goods and services, and uh, that is the most important thing that has to, to come into play here. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much, Mr. Olu Shegun. Olu Shegun Elegbede is next after the break.